Hi, I'm Dennis Delamar. I'm the director of The Little Dog Laughed, playing at Actors Theater Charlotte. We'll be playing this production till April 26th. Uh, we opened already and audiences are leaving quite happy. I've been very happy with the production and the laughter and the heart and a few tears in this room, this theater here on Stonewall in Charlotte. Uh, the show stars Brian Robinson as Mitchell and Kim Kazort as Diane, his agent. Ian Bond is Alex, the male prostitute. And Glennis O'Donohue from Davidson, as is uh, Ian, is playing Ellen, Alex's girlfriend. <laughs> this show in North and South Carolina. Uh, the closest one that's been done in this area was Florida. It appeared on Broadway last year, was nominated for a Tony, and Julie White, who played Diane the Agent, won a Tony for this play. Think of Vinci, quadruple strand of pearls. She walks to a window at Tiffany's, again with the beautiful. The melody, Moon River, watch this. Start with me. The beauty quotient is excessively high. And the beautiful Audrey Hepburn is sneaking into her Upper East Side townhouse away from the not so old and beautiful man. But the runaway car is beautiful. And then, but then, then the unspeakable happens. Mickey Rooney. Mickey Rooney in full on novelty Hirohito glasses and buck teeth and missing the right ring. I must protest! I'm fascinated with the show. I hope you will be too if you attend. Uh, there are three relationships in this show that I have found important to explore, even further than I saw them explored in the New York production when I had the pleasure of seeing that. First is the relationship of this Hollywood actor with his agent, Diane. Hollywood actor Mitchell was played by Brian Robinson, one of our Charlotte actors who I got to work with in The Pillow Man earlier in the season. He played Tupolsky, one of the cops. And Diane is portrayed by Kim Kazort, incredible actress, friend of mine for years. She is a resident actress at Blowing Rock Stage Company and both of those actors, Brian and Kim, are two of our guest equity artists that we've brought in to do these roles. Uh, Diane is an incredible character, and her relationship with uh, Mitchell is something quite to behold because she is ruthless, she is a barracuda, she has a foul mouth, she is a testicle buster. And I think we had a, a lady say one night to Kim uh, after the show, she said, I loved you because you're a buster. And uh, I started thinking about it. she really is. Uh, Totally unexpected what's coming out of her mouth, and she has some incredible zingers. Douglas Carter Bean knows how to write, and the wit that ripples through this whole script is, is one of the delicious things that I enjoy when I watch it each time I watch this and as we've worked on it. The uh, second relationship is the relationship of this Hollywood actor, this, this rising A-list actor, hunk, you might call him. He would be on the cover of People magazine hopefully as one of the best looking men in America. And Brian has worked on his body and we're proud of that for him. And it shows nicely. Uh, and we do show a lot of it, if that matters to you. Uh, but this Mitchell character has a secret and uh, he has um, a leaning, his private life, he is a closet gay person and he strikes up a relationship with a little cowboy that he brings to his hotel room. And of course, you can imagine how Diane's going to react to that as they're climbing with a deal on a hot movie that could put him over the top. Uh, the relationship with Mitchell and Alex, the little cowboy, is um, one that we've explored seriously. 
Uh, I think it was done superficially in New York, but uh, we go there in this, what is this really like for Mitchell's character, a closeted actor in Hollywood? Uh, as many actors have been in Hollywood through the years and are today, so they tell me. Uh, but we look in the past, uh, the ones that it definitely we know, a classic case, Rock Hudson, Tab Hunter, Richard Chamberlain, these people have been, have come out, you know, as you would say. Um, but that relationship that sparks with these two men is one that we've explored in the show, and uh, you care about them. You, and uh, I think that was important to develop in the show. Uh, I'm, I'm someone's son. That's, that's what I do for a living. Two hundred. You must be very good <laughs> at sex. <laughs> that's not what people pay you for. What do people pay you for? To leave afterwards. The third relationship is between Alex, the male prostitute, the bisexual male prostitute, and Ellen, his sometimes girlfriend, and they share an apartment. Um, and she is in love with him. And that is an interesting relationship to explore, uh, a woman in love with a bisexual man. And their love is very real, but he has another thing going, and another side of himself, and it's very sad at times. There's a lot of humor in our show and the situation, and Ellen is a witty girl also. She's kind of a little spoiled brat, but uh, we, we, our heart goes out for her. But these three relationships are all intertwined, and they crisscross, they intersect, and um, Diane keeps us all going with uh, the stakes are high because it's someone who uh, is nationally or will be or could be and hopefully is nationally known. And that brings us to the hypocrisy or the uh, fascination in the industry, the film industry. And uh, Douglas Carter Bean went there because he's experienced it. He wrote a play, uh, he wrote a play called As Bees in Honey Drown that was a big off-Broadway hit in the 90s. And the star female, Alexis was her name, uh, it was just a, a big, hot role for a, a beautiful actress in her 40s. And Meryl Streep uh, and Ed Benning, they were after this piece of material to do the film rights, film version. And uh, it never happened because they started to, Hollywood wanted to change the character. There was a major gay character in it, and, uh, and it all got bogged down in the negotiations and the politics. So Douglas Carter Bean has put himself in this as a character, a playwright, called He Meaning Him. And one of my favorite scenes in the show is in Tribeca in a restaurant where Diane and Mitchell have their first meeting with He Meaning Him, trying to get the rights to his new hot play, which is about two men in love. And we think of Brokeback Mountain, and that that's been made since this play came out, or about the same time, and how the public perceived that, and all kinds of Hollywood things are exposed, mirror is held up to us and our, our uh, attitude and our fascination with all this. It's kind of like a, a tabloid examination too. Uh, as you can see, I'm very excited about this production. Uh, the humor is, drives it throughout, but also it has a lot of heart and a lot of, um, it's personal, very personal for all the characters. Um, one of the things I think it has us question, we, we the audience, uh, what drives us most in life? Is it money, ego, sex, love, or some special concept that we have called happiness and our fascination with happy endings? Um, so the play offers a lot. Uh, I hope you're able to make it. And uh, thank you for giving me a moment uh, to babble on about something I'm 
excited and passionate about. Little Dog Laughed, Actors Theater on Stonewall. The play runs till April 26th. Thank you very much.